how to add custom fonts on Shopify store. Hi guys, welcome back into this channel and today I will be teaching you how to add or upload custom fonts on Shopify store. So let's begin right away. The very first step is to make sure that you have signed up on the Shopify store or the Shopify website. So simply go to shopify.com and sign up and make sure that your email is working since Shopify will be sending an email regarding the verification or the activation of your account. And once you're done, simply go to the home page, which is this one. And then click on online store under the sales channel section right here and make sure that you are on the themes section. And right now, what you're going to do is to make sure that your theme is not done. Instead, it should be debut. Since I don't have the debut theme right here, what I will be doing is to go to Shopify theme store. So go to visit theme store and then wait for it to load. Once you're here, hit search on the upper right and then type in debut. Once you are here, click on the debut with this icon and click on try theme. Wait for it to load once again. And then once it is done loading, you may start editing the debut site or theme. You just simply scroll down and wait for it to load until you can click on customize. So click on customize and wait for it to load once again. There are options wherein you can change the font right here but this will not be the page where we can edit or add our custom fonts so you just exit it right here go to actions and click on edit code so this will be a complex one so you need to follow these steps thoroughly so go to search files and type in css and under the assets click on theme css and then go to the bottom of the page and then click on the bottom hit enter and then go to the um, description box below since i will be adding this code so simply copy and paste this code and now once you have pasted it what you're going to do now is to download the font that you want so I suggest you use the dafont.com website, but there are other websites you can search in Google. So you need to search for um, font downloader for free and etc. If you want to download one, you just click on download and then simply follow the steps needed. And then the file will be uh, mostly can be seen as zip. So like this one. So in order for you to extract it, you need to click on the folder first and then right click and click on extract all or extract here or whichever um, option you can see. And then now once it will be extracted, you may see a folder or a content like this one. So this is the font. What you're going to do now is to look for its property so that you may see its um, format. So Right click on the font, click on properties, and then as you can see, the type of file is .ttf. So remember the type of font or the type of file since you will be needing it afterwards. So mine is .ttf, so it will appear as um, OTF or WAF or etc. So let's go back to the code first, and as you can see, the um, type of file that we will be needing is WAF2. So the WAF2 is the um, font that is used in the web pages. So you will need to convert our um, font, which is the TTF, to WAF2. So you may go to um, Google and search for font file converter. Let's say, for example, um, your type of file is like mine, which is TTF. You may search for TTF to WAF to like that one. And then you may also um, 
use anyconv.com, which is the app that I will be using. I mean the website. Just simply click on choose file, choose the extracted file, and then make sure to choose the WAF2 um, type of file. Click on convert, and then now you may download it. Once you have downloaded it, you may now go back to Shopify and click on add a new asset. And then choose a file, choose the converted one, which is .wav2 file. Click open and click on upload asset. Once you're done, simply scroll down and look for the uploaded asset, which is this one, which can be found on the bottom most part of the assets. And then go back to theme.css. Oh wait, we need to copy the name first, which is this one. Remember to copy only the name and not including the um, extension or the file type. Right here, paste the font name also right here. And lastly, right here. So before we save this one, we will be previewing the page first or the site first. So this is the site. The default um, text can be seen right here on the header, the, um, the body or the paragraph. Then if you want to change the font, we will go back to right here to the codes or to the theme.css. So the last step that we will be um, using or doing is add classes here with comma. So as you can see, there are sections or classes. So let's say, for example, this one. This is the first header or the header one. And then this is the header two, and then this is the header three, and etc. So if you want to change the font of the header, you just simply type in H and then the number of that header. So you may type in H1, then comma, H2, and then comma again, H3, and so on. For the body, you may type in body. And for the paragraph, you may type in P. And for the um, link, you just type in A for the link. Click on save. And then you may click on preview once again. And as you can see, the font now has been changed. So you may now exit this one. Make sure first to click on save. And then you may go back to home. And that's it. So let me know if you have any questions. Please post them on the comment section below. And make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well. Make sure to leave a thumbs up and then that's it. That's how you can add custom fonts on Shopify.